I'm not really trying with a nice setup today, but I just got uh, back from an offer holding day at my dream university and it was amazing and it was so much fun. I just, oh, I just love it there so much. I just really, really, really love it. So yeah, today we're going to be unboxing some new books. I feel like my whole channel is just an unboxing channel at the moment. But, um, oh my God. Why did we buy scissors with a nutcracker on it? It just slices me all the time. So um, I got some books secondhand and some not secondhand because they've only just been released. So um, you can't really get them secondhand or they're more expensive to get them secondhand or it's the same price to get them secondhand. But I wanted to get them new because just vibes. Why do you try and buy secondhand when I can? Because I, I just, there's, there's books on this, if there's a book that you want to read and it's on this planet already, you don't need a brand new edition. So today I am receiving these and yesterday I only ordered it. I don't have Amazon Prime so it's pretty cool that it came that quick. It came within like 24 hours, that's ridiculous. I can't believe globalisation, it's really, really bad. Okay. Um, so they are self-development books, they are productivity books, but in a good way. Not a, uh, we're going to burn ourselves out and feel depressed way. So, yes, and um, I decided now is the, oh my god, now is the right time to receive these books because they are, like, life-changing books. All the ones I bought, they're all, like, life-changing books, so... Um, they got that kind of vibe to them. I'm very into non-fiction at the moment. I have been for the last couple of years, which is why I haven't really read many books because I've kind of been just collecting the non-fiction books I want to read when my exams are finished. So um, I have like loads of biology ones that I'm saving um, and the ones that I'm starting to buy that are um, like non-fiction, but they're not biology. Um, they are like easy to read they're easy to dip in and out of which is which is really really good because um i find it such a difficult thing when you you buy a book and you realize it's quite heavy going and you're kind of like in a period of your life where you can't really dedicate a lot of time to really reading it and stuff but i really really love buying non-fiction books because i think that they, they just provide so much value in my life because I would always buy fiction books like growing up because you just read fiction as a kid. Um, and then when I when I turned about maybe 17, I started getting into more non-fiction because I just find them so... I don't know, I just can't really get into fiction at the moment, which I really want to because I feel like it's a different kind of thing for your soul. It really is good, but like actually let's open this box i think i sound absolutely hilarious in this video i sound really drunk but it's been a long time since i had my cocktail because i'm now drinking because i'm now 18. um i had a strawberry smash um and it was really really good um but it was also really really strong because it had vodka in it and i'm also very very tired um yeah because it's long trip to university but also not too long so it's actually a really really good distance um because i want to be far enough away from home that it is um like i feel like i've escaped not in like a horrible way like i love my family but i kind of want that growing up new life kind of vibes but i also don't want to be um i don't want to be too far away because like oh, i would love to live in edinburgh like edinburgh is really nice but um I don't know, this this city that I want to go and live in is amazing. It really, really is amazing. I just really, really love it there. It feels like home and it's really, really nice. And um, yeah, because Edinburgh is really, really far away. Because a couple of years ago, I really, really wanted to just go to Edinburgh and just live there and just be there. Just, so it's just really, really nice. But I really, really like this other city that I want to live in. Um, so I don't really know about sharing stuff like that on the internet. 
I don't know if it's really safe to do that. So that's why I haven't really shared the university that I want to go to on camera yet, really. I haven't really said like the city that the university city that I'm going to. Um, but yes, it is north. It is north of the UK. That is all I'm going to say, really. So it's one of the northern cities. But I really, really, really love it there. It's just so amazing. Um, and it's really, really witchy as well in like its own way, which I really, really love. Um, my brother keeps yelling at his friends. Let's, let's get rid of that. But lately, I feel like every video that I film, I'm kind of in a different mood. And I think that's, that's really funny. Like the other day when I was doing the meditation video, it was like, I was just, I just really wanted to make a video, but I just, I just, I was just in such a weird mood and that video just got such a weird vibe to it but um I don't know I don't really feel like I've really creatively exp expressed myself with that video because I could have made it really great with editing and everything but I just didn't edit it and like I don't know even if I was to put out this video today people say like oh you're only as good as your last video but the only, th I, I don't truly believe that about myself, but if you were to go on my channel, you're going to look at the most recent video, unless there's one um, that was released before that, that catches your eye more. Because you, like most people who are going to click on a channel is going to resort to the first one, the first video, the, the most recent one that has popped up. So that is what they're going to judge you on and if I'm not making videos often then that video is the one that people are gonna judge me on so I don't know I just really wish that my brain wasn't in study mode as much no I don't I I think it's good that my brain is in study mode I think it is really really good because it means that I am focusing on what I need to do and like I was talking to the admissions people today at the university that I really, 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 really want to go to. It's actually ridiculous how much that it's become my personality that I want to go to this university. Um, it's absolutely mental. Like, I just... It's, it's just a bit of a joke at this point. But anyway, um, yeah, I was talking to them about entry requirements because I was really, really stressed about entry requirements. And I'm like, why do I keep getting stressed? They're literally just A-levels. There's so much worse things in this world. Like, I'm trying my best. Doesn't matter. What am I going on about? I don't even know. Anyway, let's actually look at these books. This is the most unhinged video I have made in an extremely long time. This really, really is crazy. I don't, I just feel like, like, what on earth is this video? Like, maybe I'll post it, maybe I won't. I don't know. It's interesting. Um, but yeah, let's let's see what we have in this. Because I know three of the books are going to be in here, but there might be another one. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it's only three. So this is The Creative Act, A Way of Being by Rick Rubin. And this has been uh, recommended by so many people. Um, but I finally, finally decided to buy it. Um, especially as the Colin and Samir episode where uh, Jacob Collier was saying that he doesn't agree with what Rick Rubin says. And I found that really, really interesting because of how many people love Rick Rubin. So I really, really wanted to read this book because of how many people said it was really, really good. And one of the new YouTuber people I've been watching lately, uh, The Year of the Unicorn, I really, really, really love her channel. Such a good channel. Um, she was talking about how much she loved this book. So I really, really thought that it was a good idea to read this book. So that is the first book. I've really been getting into books about creativity. And there's just something about it, but it just... It just nourishes your soul like as a creative person I didn't realize that there's there's books about being creative and well I did but I didn't know how like 
useful they are and how inspiring they are and it's just really really cool i really really love it so still like an artist it's, it's over there i could go and get it just so you guys can see it on the video if you're interested because that's what videos are like it's all like show and tell wise so like this is my copy of still like an artist it's really really nice it is brilliant it is incredible um and i really love it it's really great okay so so this book i don't have the brain cells to talk about this right now let's talk about chemistry with my dad on the way back from the university and since i come home my brain's just gone i don't really know who i am who am i i don't know i don't know why i think I, i'm just hungry i just need food that's why i'm acting weird i don't know it's strange so yes yeah, still like an artist brilliant book um so that was the first book on creativity i read and then i thought this one oh, it's so beautiful and it's such a long book as well. Oh, and it's got one of those thing that so it's that was brilliant. Okay. So I'll probably talk about this book more in another video when I've actually read it to tell you like who Rick Rubin is, why he knows so much about creativity. I'm not really the person to ask right now. My head is not screwed on properly. And I think my parents have just come home with the fish and chips. So I'm gonna go and eat fish and chips now. Bye. We yeah. then have Oh yes! Finally! My copy of Feel Good Productivity by Ali Abdal. I've wanted this for so long. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually have a copy of it now. That's just crazy. Oh, it's really nice. So I'm really excited to read this. And then... We have... My brother bought a pen because he really likes having the expensive pens as i said in one of my other videos i like buying like a box of 60 pens um and just using them but they're like good quality pens and oh i didn't expect this book to be like this they have the tao de ching i don't know if i pronounced that properly um and it is um, about taoism which is really really interesting something i'm trying to learn more about oh my gosh it's so beautiful So it's really good. It's uh, ancient Chinese philosophy. So I find it really, really interesting. And then we have two more books to come. One of them is, oh no, we have three. So we have The Power of Now, we have The Daily Stoic, and I don't know what the other one is. I didn't really bought six books because I was gonna buy five and then I was like, no, it's one, it's the sixth. I don't know my socks. The sixth one is Atomic Habits long awaited that I read this book very excited been meaning to read it for a long time I need the power of now as well what is the one I don't know maybe I only did buy five I don't know what else I could have bought but yeah I didn't expect this book to be like this but um it's like A4 Okay, anyway, see you guys all soon. Bye.